What do you get here in Los Angeles that you don't get anywhere else? Regarding filmmaking, I should yeah. say. Uh, I think in Los Angeles, there's, uh, I don't know what the right word is. I think in Los Angeles, there's a concentration of people that are completely and totally dedicated to filmmaking. And that's something I haven't found anywhere else in the country, anywhere else in the world, really. Um, you know, this is the, the town where you can go to any bar and you can find somebody talking about a new film that they're writing. Um, and if you live in, you know, the middle of Arkansas, that's, that's harder to find. Um, I, I think being here, there's an energy about filmmaking um, that really doesn't exist anywhere else. I, in in my travels around the U.S., that I found that there are a couple cities that sort of have an energy all their own, sort of dedicated to one thing. Washington D.C. is one of those cities, you know, where everybody there has a passion for politics and a passion for public service. Here, that passion is for storytelling; it's for entertainment, um, and it really can be a motivating thing um, if you're doing if you're making a film anywhere else in the country, you know, in a smaller town it's harder to find that motivation and it's harder to find those people that are totally dedicated to it along with you. So to be able to go to a coffee shop and to walk in and see somebody working on their script, you know, that that's something that can really kind of, you know, buoy you if you're having a rough time doing something on your own. So I think in that sense, that's, that's something that's really special about LA. And that being said too, uh, I know it's, it's hard to get comfortable here, but I feel like once people do get comfortable, it's, it's hard to leave because it is so hard to kind of like establish, establish yourself. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on just kind of like keeping moving and, and, and not getting too stagnant in one place for your own growth? Well, I, I think it depends on the person. Um, you know, some people are very comfortable with setting up a life for themselves and they're most effective when they know they have a base underneath them. Um, you know, but, but the producer of, uh, of the movie that I'm working on now, he lives in Agora Hills and he's been there his entire life oh. and he's very comfortable there. And you can tell that that sort of consistency is something that he needs in order to keep functioning at a high level. But not everybody is like that. Like for me, I, I grew up, I lived in a bunch of different places growing up. I, I was homeless for a very short time. There was, there's a lot there's a lot of places that I've been and that sort of kinetic sort of existence is something that works for me. That's something that gives me energy. So it really is, you know, it, it is, it helps me in my growth because I enjoy being in new situations and being in new places, meeting new people, um, you know, creating new networks, things like that, but it's not for everybody. Um, so it really comes down to, you know, who you are, knowing what kind of person you are, being honest with yourself about that. Um, because I had, at one point I had actually tried when I was working in one place and I was making a very good salary, I could feel myself kind of establishing roots in that place, but I knew that wasn't what I wanted to do. So you kind of, if you're in that situation and you really want to get to where you want to go, you have to risk ripping up roots sometimes and going somewhere else and trying something else with the hope that that can help you grow and, and help you get closer to where you want to be. So it's really kind of a person-by-person -person decision, I think. 